is one of my favorite drinks, but you know, you can only get fresh flowers at a certain time of the year, Christmas time. Um, but what I've discovered is dried flowers, and the dried flowers, I think, create a taste that is quite similar to the fresh flower sorrel infusion. So I thought I would try the dried flowers so you could use the recipe any time of the year. And I'm also going to do something that is more sort of Jamaican influenced sorrel, which has different spices that they add, okay? So for this, we need, I have two packets of sorrel flowers here. These are the dried ones. They look completely different to the fresh ones. And for this, you need two liters of water per packet of sorrel because I guess it must mean that the dried sorrel is much, much stronger than the fresh sorrel. So what I've got is four liters of water simmering away on the stove. So I'm just going to put my flowers in there. Now, of course, doing a show that includes a recipe for sorrel in Trinidad, I'm bound to get caught because I know everybody has a different recipe for sorrel, right? But I'm just going to show you one version. So I've added the flowers. I'm letting my pot simmer very, very gently. And now I'm going to add all kinds of nice other things that I've got here. I'm going to add some cloves. I've also got some allspice, some cinnamon, fresh ginger, which is really and truly the Jamaican addition, and maybe a cardamom pot or two, okay? Right. So, according to the Jamaican recipe, you only want to put in about two or three cloves, right? They add allspice, what they call pimento. And these seeds are really wonderful and aromatic, give a wonderful smell and flavor. So I'm going to put in about five pimento seeds. I'm going to put in one cinnamon stick. And then I've got some fresh ginger here. I'm going to grate in about an inch of fresh ginger. There we go. And I'm also going to grate in just a little bit of fresh nutmeg. Let's use this side here. Now, at this stage, what some people might do is they might turn the water off the heat and let it cool, let it steep overnight. Some people might let the sorrel cook for a little while, simmer very gently. You can get a sense, I'm getting a sense. You can't get a sense, but I'm getting a sense of all those wonderful smells we have in here. So what I'm going to do is turn off the heat now, put the lid on, let it rest overnight infusing, and then tomorrow what I would do is strain the mixture and sweeten it to taste. And there you would have sorrel that you could have not only at Christmas time, but also all year round.